Hi, I am Machu and you are Orgasm Lovers. I'm often tempted to ask people, do you really want to have sex with that guy you hate? So why did you say so? You did. You said, fuck you, that means sex between you and him. And you called him an asshole, a body pot with which you could have sex. Seriously, having the same word to designate different things create confusions in our brains and not having words to designate something makes it impossible to think about it. That's what George Orwell meant with his novel 1984. So, my first tip to a better sex life is to be mindful of the words you use, because language does affect the way you think. That means three things, and two categories of benefits. So my first piece of advice is Avoid using sex words for insults, violence, or contempt. You can use them as emphasis. This is fucking beautiful, that's great. But when I want someone to hurt, I don't want sex for them. I would say go ball your head or blast you. Not fuck. This has been my rule for years and still I fail at it. Sometimes. Because we get influenced by what we hear every day. Anyhow, this guy who disrespected you, you want him to hurt, but when you come back to the woman you love in the evening, do you want her to hurt? So why would you use the same word? That's my second piece of advice. Avoid using insulting words to speak of sex. Don't you love your penis? I love mine. And I love my girlfriend's vulva and her rear. When someone displeases me, I don't want to call them attractive. I want to call them ugly. So I will not use sex as insults. And I will not use insulting words for my sexuality. Some people like dirty talk, and that's okay, that's a kink, and no kink shaming here. But no one should be forced to use them. It goes deeper than what might think. You know, I met a girl would not perform oral sex with a guy because she didn't want to be someone who sucks. By the way, I'm French and I don't have another word that suck for that being incompetent, doing things wrong. If you have any ideas, please write them down in the comments below. Anyhow, I don't want negative mental associations in my bedroom, so I try to avoid those words and use others. And that's my third piece of advice. Create your own lexicon. I think there's a need for proper, respectful words for organs and actions in the bedroom. Most of those we have are either demeaning or medical. In any case, hardly arousing. I would never eat a cat or a coward. But savoring the love nectar from my girlfriend's sanctuary. That's another matter, right? You can use words such as yoni and bajra from the Sanskrit uh, language. Or use the jade door and the jade temple for the vulva and vagina and the light wand for the penis. That comes from the tantra tradition. Mine comes from the French poet Paul Verlaine who used this word heart to designate the organs of love. I've been using it since I was 15, and that's okay for me, because I'm kind of romantic. It goes further though, because there is a dramatic lack of precision in the vocabulary, the lexicon about sexuality. We need proper words to designate this action, that speed, this body part, this movement, and creating that will help dramatically in increasing in your pleasure, in improving your love life, because you can communicate with your partner with what you like, what they like, and how to make it better. Those three things will have two categories of benefits. The first is social, because when you stop using the words that everybody uses, you will become more interesting, funnier, wittier, 
and your insults and curses will have more impact and that will have a positive effect on your charisma and your social life. The second category of benefits is for your sex life. Because if you're dating a woman, she will be delighted to not feel insulted or assaulted when you talk about sex. And that will make it easier to talk about sex beforehand and afterwards for feedback. All of this will make it better, easier to have a better sex life, more pleasure, more interaction and explore more things. There is another benefit, it comes later, it's eventually when you stop using angry words associated with sex, your thoughts will change too and you will begin feeling less angry when you're thinking about sex, have more pleasant emotions when you're thinking about it and that in turn will influence the way you feel when you're doing it. Words will influence your mind and the way you use words will influence your sex life. Anyhow, I have three questions for you now. The first is, what kind of curses and insults do you like that are not sexual? The second, what are your preferred words to speak about your best friend? And I do mean your penis. And the things you do with your girlfriend. My third question is personal. I still struggle with the word suck, either in its literal meaning or in its demeaning meaning. So if you have any ideas what words I can use instead of suck, please let me know in the comments. I will be very grateful. Cheers. This was Matthew and Orgasm Lovers.